It is a smoking warm day today. And have I told you guys that I love having this rooftop storage? Ooh. What are we doing? A little renovation. We are clearly back in the greater Vancouver area. Uh, we were in Vancouver this morning. I had to stop and pick up a parcel or parcels and stacks of envelopes and boxes and all sorts of things from you guys. So if you have sent me anything, I wanna say thank you. And if you guys know what Sportsmobile is, if you don't know, they are like a four x four Ford Econoline van kind of specialist conversion sort of place. They do other vans too, but yeah, if you wanna buy cool things for your Ford, Oh, 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 oh. oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh. oh, my goodness. I finally got myself a swivel seat for the front side of my van. This passenger seat is going to be able to go turn and point towards the house. I probably should have made my bed before this video. So I think right now we're going to attempt to install this in this hot summer heat. The first thing we're gonna do is the obvious thing and unbolt the four bolts that hold on the original base to the seat. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's the best part. <laughs> Figure it all out as I go. On the front of the seat, it has these little hex bolts that take these little, or torque bolts, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, anyway, this is the biggest one I have in my kit, so let's hope that this thing works. Oh, we're good. It is so warm today. Temperature outside is 30 degrees Celsius. And I tried to park my pan, my fan and my van. I can't even freaking talk today. My van's in partial shade. Cruise is lying on the floor underneath the van. Okay, now we just gotta take this seat out of there. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, so gross. Underneath the seat was like chunks of dog hair, little pieces of rock hard licorice. No money though, uh, but this needs, that's so gross. This is one of those things like underneath the feet here. It's one of those things that, you know, Maybe should be a uh, part of the maintenance schedule, right? Take the seat out, clean out all the dog hair from underneath here. Oh man, I think I'm gonna do that. Make this a part of my, part of like my big annual or every six month thorough. This part is the stationary base that came with the van. This is what we're gonna be removing and mounting the seat to the new swivel bracket. And this is just held on right here by four bolts, at least as far as I can see right now. So we're gonna pull all those four and see if it comes loose. Well, these ones are coming loose pretty nice and easy. I keep seeing these trucks go by with the refrigeration units on the top. That's like a produce delivery truck. <laughs> I'm about to hijack one and jump inside of it. Whew. All right. This is it. 
Here we go. The stationary base of the factory seat has now been removed. Wasn't really so bad, it was eight bolts. Okay, so here's the new one. So I'm not sure, does it go upside down? It only fits the bolt pattern in one direction and one direction only. That is it. Okay, that's great news. Oh, this is perfect. These bottom holes line up completely perfect in all four corners. So I know this is right this way. So if you turn it the other way, it doesn't work. So just to confirm the top here before I get the bottom bolted in, I wanna make sure that these fit into the top of that. But instead of me lifting the chair up, I'm gonna use the original base that came with it and just flip it upside down. And there we go. All right, guys, so we have perfectly lined up holes here in every corner, which means we're good to go. We can start bolting these things in. This isn't working, guys. I think I'm gonna have to cut out some of this floor. So I think what's happening here is because the other seat had a wide open bottom, where this one is completely flat. So these little bumps and ridges are getting in the way of that thing actually going down flat enough to be able to bolt these things in. So I'm just gonna take an X-Acto knife and cut out this big middle section and see if it makes a difference. I'm gonna do a little test piece just to make sure we're okay. Oh yeah, guys, we're good to go. This definitely gets down way closer. If you see down there, that bolt doesn't quite line up. Oh, it did too. A little smackage and you're good to go. It's a bit harder to work with a chair mounted to it. Oh my goodness. You a heavy one. Okay. Up and over that back screw. We get it? Uh -huh, yeah, we got it. You know, all in all, this was a really easy install. If it was a nice cool day outside, this would have been just a cakewalk. Oh man, oh, I'm super stoked to try this thing out. <laughs> so I have the cable sticking out the side there for my, uh, cause these things have it's tucked up inside there. I gotta pull it down. Um, a cable for the airbag. So I just gotta plug it into the little connector that's hanging out the back there and uh, yeah. That way you don't have a passenger in here and the airbag doesn't go off. You just gotta connect the little cable, super easy. Ugh. All right, baby, two more. All right. Oh, man. This little track I put on here before that went from between the seat base to the seat base, I'm gonna have to go buy a longer piece and just run this along the entire perimeter to clean up the look of all of this stuff. That way it's all nice and nice and pretty. Are you guys ready? <laughs> the moment of truth. Read the instructions, Chrome. Maybe it's a good idea. Oh, it goes backwards. This goes backwards. Whoa. Oh, snap. Oh, look at that. 
bada boom. <laughs> no freaking way. Are you kidding me? Oh. Woo. Totally opens up my entire living space. Now, not only can I sit here and kick my feet up on something, but now I can have company over. So um, it's been a few times it's been raining and I've been out somewhere, bumped into one of you guys. And uh, it's always that awkward moment. I'm like, hey man, why don't you just come in, get out of the rain and we'll have a beer. And they come inside and they got to kneel on my floor <laughs> while I sit in my bed or vice versa. And I don't want them in my bed. What if, what if they fart? That's, that's gross. So now I can swivel the chair around and have company over, socialize and chit chat and share beers together and stories. Oh, <laughs> am I ever stoked for that? Poo bucket is in front of the seat, so I'll have to pull this out every time I need to use it, but that's okay. Maybe I will wrap this in something nice and pretty and turn this into a footstool that looks good like maybe get my logo and stuff wrapped around here put something cushy on the top here and kind of create a like like an ottoman oh. that breeze feels so damn good oh. Where was this earlier when I needed a little bit of a breeze, you know what I mean? Wow. I held off on doing this project for a long time. It was one of those thoughts that were in my mind when I first moved into my van. I'm like, I want to swivel the seat. But I was like, wow, they're a little expensive and they're probably a pain in the butt to put in. And you always hear stories about them not lining up and then you gotta drill holes or make the holes bigger or redo the plates. Cause you'll go onto forums and that's the bad thing. When you go into a forum and read a forum on other people's opinions, they're the worst. Don't, don't, don't do that. Because it'll discourage you from things cause everybody's got their own opinion and everybody drives you the wrong direction or they got something negative to say. So I went online and I found a few places that carry swivel seats for the Ford Econoline in my year. Um, and one was shop four seats, shop number four seats. Um, the price was really good, but I didn't like the quality of it compared to the one I bought from Sportsmobile. Um, this one just seemed a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more rugged, and Sportsmobile makes overland vans and 4x4 vans. You guys have probably heard of them because their vans are very, very expensive to buy. So I figured, you know what, if Sportsmobile puts those in their big, super expensive conversions, then they're probably good enough to put into my van. So the swivel seat, you know, it was, it was 350 bucks US, and it seems like a lot of money to invest in it but it literally took me 45 minutes to put it in. It would have taken me less if it wasn't so damn hot out and I was getting frustrated, you know what I mean? But it was a really easy install. Everything lined up, kind of piece of cake, easy peasy. So don't hold off on some of these kind of renovations. Right, is that a renovation? Yeah, a renovation. Don't hold off on doing those things because you think, well, it might be too big of a deal. It was super easy and I would recommend everybody put a swivel seat in, in their van because I have friends that have swivel seats and I love going over to their place and just having a seat and I can see their whole entire van from the front seat. It's really, really cool. And to see how they've used it and how useful a swivel seat is for opening up your entire living space because that literally takes half of the front of your car and makes it a part of your home where before there were just two back of the seats that separated my car from my van, my home, my car, home. Yeah, because I get in the front seat and that's my commuter car, but yet my home's attached to it. Anyway, getting confusing, it's a little hot. I need to go get some ice and I need to get some beer. So we're done for today. Thanks for watching me put in my civil seat. Probably wasn't that exciting, but hey, that's what I did, okay. Bye guys. Um, if you're new around here, my name is Chrome. Little furball back there, his name is Cruz. We're Van City Van Life and hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, we upload just about every damn day. All this van life madness. See you guys soon.